All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Mike from the Battle Nations Brothers here today, and um, we are going to be bringing you a top 10 worst nanopod units of all time. Now, these are non-promotional guys, so these won't include any of the uh, promotional units, of course, that are quite horrible that we see sometimes. But, um, yeah, Steven is also going to be over yeah, a couple here, units in this. Yeah, I'm here, by the way. He just didn't really want to introduce me, but I guess that's okay. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the video. Coming in at number 10, we have the Frostbite. So the Frostbite is basically the tank version of the uh, Cairo Trooper, Cryo Trooper, whatever you want to call it. It basically is just a unit that its sole purpose is just to freeze units. Now, um, the reason that this is considered as one of the worst units here is that it only does 66 to 99 damage with its um, main attack, which is the only attack it has. And its just main purpose is just to freeze units. But really, the purpose... It's, it's not really great, because when you have elemental troopers unlocked, uh, you're really going to be wanting to get more of those, mainly because of there's there's so many other great things about the elemental troops. They just, they're so much better than the frostbite, because they can do different types of damage. And overall, the frostbite is just not a very good unit, because even though it does get some cross freeze, it's just not very often that that does happen. And that now that we have higher set of status effects and better units to do this the real purpose of the frostbite has just been mass so that's why it's coming in at number 10 on our worst units coming in at number nine is the basilisk so basically the basilisk does 21 to 29 damage across a whole row when it's placed in the middle and that is only against units without armor so as you'll see here it's times four so I mean, it can do a max of 116 damage. It's okay against unarmored units, but when it comes down to armored units, it's just terrible. The all the numbers go down, and it probably does like 15 damage against an armored unit, just shredding its armor. So there really is no purpose or no reason to really want this to your army. So, so yeah, basically that's it. Not a very good unit. Don't recommend using the nanopods. Save them for another unit that's worth your time. At number 8 on the countdown, guys, is the legendary Fire Drake. So the Fire Drake is basically the sort of flame turret uh, tank. And considering that it is doing fire damage as its main attack, it's just not a great unit. I mean, that was a crit right there, and that was 130 damage. Just showing that right there, that was a crit, and it's just not really great. Like, even when it has its normal attack... It's just not going to be really doing great amount of damage, mainly because uh, the fire DOT damage is just not that very strong. It's just pales in comparison to poison. It also it takes a lot of damage, especially against armor piercing attacks, and it's not really going to be a unit that you're going to want to put out in the front row, especially for long periods of time, even at lower level guys. Like these mammoths, they're just tearing apart this fire drake, mainly because of their armor piercing stomp attack. So, definitely don't want to get this unit, guys. Waste of nanopods. Uh, I'm sorry if this offended any one of you, uh, but yeah, the Fire Drake, just not a great unit. The unit that earned the number 7 spot in our countdown is the Hitman. Um, so, first of all, the Hitman real quick. Um, it has three attacks. The first attack that is currently not equipped. It's a pretty bad attack. He pulls out a gun and he just uh, shoots you. 29 to 36 times 3, not that good, especially if the unit has armor the stats will just go down. So the first attack's not really a good attack. Um, the second one, it it's okay. It's 66 to 99. And he uh, he pulls out a knife and he uh, stabs you across the three rows. Then the last one is a poison attack and he hits you with the poison, 44 to 66. Poison does do some good damage, but it's it's really small amount considering that the original damage is only 44 to 66. Um, so... The, the damage that it does isn't that great, so basically you want to save your nanos, but I'll just show you a little bit on what it does. See as he stabs him with his chemical stick. It's okay, you can see it did minus 49 damage, and then it also can for minus 49 damage. Um, yeah, so that's okay. Uh, we just wanted to throw in some of uh, Detonator's rank 5 megas in front to shield the hitman so it doesn't get uh, hit. So now we're going to use its other attack that goes across three rows um, with his other knife attack. As you can see, he stabs different directions. 
not that good. As you can see, the plasma artillery right here, it does have armor on it. And you can see that um, it really didn't do much damage at all. So, and then you can see compared to an agent that does, that does not have armor on it, it really didn't do much either. So, I mean, these attacks aren't really that good, especially for a nanopod unit. So, I'd just wait for other promo units to come out. This isn't a must-have unit. It's not very good. Its attacks aren't very good against armor. So, uh, just don't waste your time with it. Our number six worst unit is the Meerkat. Now, the Meerkat's sole purpose is to take down vehicles because it does have a 105 critical chance against vehicles, which you can see right there. I don't really understand the extra 5%. I don't really think that has any extra purpose as far as I know, but um, I may be wrong about that, but I don't think so. It does have a 75% uh, armor pierce rating, and it just does have uh, one missile attack which its sole purpose is just to hit vehicles. So we're going to show that now. So even though it was a crit, it was only 132, which, considering that the unit's base damage is 58 to 86, is okay, but it's just not a unit long-term that you're going to want to be using. It starts out with 160 total combined HP at rank 1, you're really not going to want to be interested in ranking this up because it's just not a great unit, even though it does have the 105 critical chance against vehicles. Obviously, if I were to show this against a soldier unit, it would be quite horrible, and you just really don't want to use this. So, yeah. The number five unit on our countdown is the laser tank. Basically, every time this thing attacks, it either dodges or misses. And especially, you can see it's red against units without armor, so it's pretty much terrible against those units. And against vehicles or anything with armor, it's only a uh, yellow versus a green. So as you can see, it's not a great unit. Um, just to kind of show you the stats, it's 80 to 120, and it's um, there's a laser, so it is armor piercing, 90%. And then it also has a second attack uh, that requires rank two, 56 to 84. And it goes up a row. And I'm just assuming, obviously you don't have the attack. Kind of like the uh, the M2014 M gunner. The farther it goes up in a row, the lower the stats go. So I'm assuming that it's just a pretty bad unit in general. And that that attack starts out with a 60, probably goes down to a 30, into like a 15. So nothing too good here. I'll, we're just going to show you an attack. There you go. And as you can see, the Mega Tank dodges. The laser tank, not that much uh, hit points for a tank. It almost does no damage. You know, it's just a waste of 70 nanopods. It actually, the reason why it's dodging and missing so much is because it has an offensive value of 28, which I believe is one of the lowest in the game. And so this obviously means it pales in comparison to the enemy laser tank that we see in some of the missions. And also, it is one of the few units that has more armor than it has hit points. As you can see right there, it has 220 armor versus the 200 hit points. So overall, just a really, really horrible unit, guys. Please do not invest in this. Our fourth worst unit on the countdown is the fireworks truck. Now, this is basically your promotional unit turned into a nightmare. Z2 has brought it back, and uh, now it's in the Frontier uh, recruitment camp, and it's still really horrible. I mean... These stats at just rank 1, they're just embarrassing. 13 to 23 damage. That is 13 to 23 damage. I cannot even describe how horrible this is. Its base critical hit chance is 50%, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to be doing a ton of damage, even if it is critical hitting. It does have a 25% stun chance, though. That's why it's not at the bottom, if the complete bottom at least. But, um, yeah, this is just, this first attack is just an embarrassment. This unit overall is just an embarrassment. Now, very similar to the Mega Tank, but not even close in damage-wise, is the uh, Control Launch, which does 20-40-44 damage, and it has a higher base critical chance at 55, and a cr higher uh, chance to do stun, which is at 40%. I don't really understand why anyone on Earth would ever use the Accidental Ignition, mainly just because it hits a bunch of units, but it's just horrible. When you add in the fact that it has only 120 HP, this unit is just horrible. I'm really embarrassed that I actually got one of these. Um, 
Yeah, Steven's laughing beside me because this is just this is just garbage, which I'm gonna display right now. Oh, look at those critical hits. Nice. Like I, I don't even know. If you're gonna be wanna stun something and you want a unit that can stun, please get the legendary mammoth. Or if just you can. if you can. Anyone. Just just find something else, please. This is just horrible. Alright, now we're gonna try it. a few things. It does hit air with this attack. Um uh woohoo bonus there. Mm. But, um, yeah, so it's showing up green against a couple of these units, so let's see what it actually does. As you can see, a nice minus 16 damage on the dirigible, and a nice minus 20 damage on the marksman. Um, it almost looks like someone dusted these units with a feather. I, I don't even understand the damage. I mean, this is just a horrible unit. Please do not invest in this. Even at the low nano cost, you're going to be embarrassed that you have one of these, even if you are a collector. So please don't get this. The number three unit on our countdown, or I guess I should say the number three collection of units on our countdown, would be the Young Am- All in all, do not invest at all in any of these young animals. It's a waste of nanopods. They'll die quickly. It's a waste of teeth, especially if you're going to be healing them. So uh, just avoid the trouble. Don't buy them. And the reason that this is actually lower than the uh, fireworks truck, in our opinion, is mainly just because when you can invest in higher level units like the Battle Raptor or even the Imperial Boar, which is still very bad, you're going to want to do that instead. Just please fight for the teeth. Do not waste your nanopods on these young animals because in the future, they're not going to be really good even at way higher ranks, even rank 5 and rank 6. You're just going to regret even ranking these up and just buying them anyways. So that's why they're lower on our countdown. We have now reached the bottom two on our list, and coming in at number two is the Flame Troop. Now, some people would really disagree with me on this, but please hear me out before you go and do anything. Um, the Flame Troop overall, it's just not really a great unit, even at the lowest of levels. And here's a couple of reasons why. First of all, its base damage is 21 to 35. Now, at my level, obviously, that's, that's nothing, but even at lower levels... That's not going to be doing a lot, and considering that this unit, even though it has 105 HP compared to uh, some of the lower HP amounts of the lower level units that you can get there, it's just not really great at all. And also, as you can see, it does have a max damage of 35, like uh, Mike said, but oftentimes it doesn't even continue to burn the actual unit, and when it does, the, the damage that it does is just really bad. So, I mean, you're not going to continue to uh, burn your units with this unit. And the DOT damage you can see here, even for a fire-based unit, this is just horrible, 14 to 7. Now this is mainly, I believe this is the main purpose of this unit. It was way stronger back in the um, the patches way, way before 4.0, even talking like 1.0. But this unit, it was basically just made to introduce the concept of DOT damage to the player, and it's just not really a great unit overall. I mean... Showing this off right here isn't, it doesn't really have any purpose because they just got annihilated. The number one unit on our countdown of worst nanopod units that are non promotional that you can buy anytime you want is. The Juggernaut. Congratulations. The biggest waste of 60 nanopods you can purchase in the game. It's first attack 23 to 28 times 3. Most of the time, there's at least one gray hit in that sequence. And believe it or not, against vehicles, it either misses or does about 6 damage. I've experienced many times where this unit uses its first attack, and it misses all 3 times, doing a total of 0 damage to an armored vehicle. This is the biggest waste of nanopods you can get in the game. It's deceiving by its name and by its hit points. I mean, and it's just terrible. And then even this attack, 17 to 21 times 3? You've got to be kidding me. And that's at rank 3. Why would you waste the time to rank this up to rank 3 when it's going to give you 17 to 21 damage? I mean, this, this unit is all around terrible. It's bad for units that don't have armor, and it's bad. It's even worse. I mean, it does like 0 damage to units with armor. So, please, if you were thinking about buying one or... Just don't. And if you bought one, I'm very sorry. I'm sure you're already aware of this, but it's a, it's a terrible unit. Please don't buy this. 
I hope that this video convinces you not to buy any of these units unless you have to for some sort of reason. Um, so I think uh, that's it for our countdown. Uh, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, we'll also be doing some other top 10s, like top 10 uh, promotional units and other things like that. Top 10 non-nanopod units. Um, so just let us know what else you want to see. Um, yeah, just rate, comment, subscribe, and I think that's it. Um, Mike, do you have anything to add? Uh, yes, guys. Before you head out, um, I just want to state that all these units, they're all subject to opinion. And that some people, they did have different opinions on the units, uh, whether they're ranked up. We did show most of these units in their rank 1 or rank 2 form. Um, they're just overall not very great. You could definitely move around some of the um, units on ours, uh, our countdown to different other ones. Like some honorable mentions, the Ninja is definitely up there as a horrible unit. Um, the Dune Rider, a horrible unit. They're, they're just like a bunch of horrible units in this game, guys. And just make sure that you spend your nanopods wisely. And uh, yeah, this is the Battle Nations Bros here. Look forward to more countdowns from us and Legacy Cup content coming in the future. Alright, see you later, guys.